Well, thank you very much for joining us. Our morning show will not be completed until we have spoken uh, about the Quara POS operator who lavished 280 million naira received in an aero credit, you know, to his account. Well, that's the person making the round now all the way from Quara State, but then he's been arrested and been transferred to Lagos. Well, policemen have arrested a point of sales operator um, who reportedly went on a spending spree after 280 million naira was erroneously transferred to his account by a commercial bank. The POS operator identified as Alfa, Alfa Rafiu was arrested by the police on Monday in a Lauren Quara State Capital uh, Punch Metro gathered, um, credit Punch Metro gathered that the suspect is a, is a resident of Akuji compound, the Abayawo area in the Lauren West local government area of the state. According to the source in the area, Familiar with this issue or with the issue, Rafiu went on a spending spree after he received the alert in batches some weeks back. But instead of him to draw the attention of the bank that mistakenly transferred the huge fund, he went on a spending spree. Well, Rafiu bought houses and cars and sponsored people to lesser age. Although he was generous to several people in the community, some residents were surprised about his sudden wealth as a POS operator. Uh, one of the sources had, uh, had, had said it was further gathered that the bank auditor later discovered the error and sent law enforcement against agents after a few who was arrested and moved to Lagos. When contacted, the state police public relation officer, S.P. Ajayi Okonsomi, uh, confirmed the incident. His arrest was carried out by the force criminal investigation and intelligence department from Alagbo in close Ekoyi, Lagos, which makes it out of our jurisdiction or concern me said uh well well not very much to say in addition to what has actually been said uh, about the fact that the guy was actually a very good guy but then you know uh, i believe that good guy uh, let me okay maybe i shouldn't have talked about his being naturally nice but then he should have reported the case i mean if so much money is being transferred to your account i have mistakenly transferred i wanted to transfer to some of these you know account i wanted to credit somebody's my, my some of this line and i mistakenly credited somebody else's line you understand and i didn't get one call from that person i didn't get one call just one call to say oh whereas he actually must have seen the number that's you know transferred then you know but then it, it didn't happen you understand and so i believe that if you get such a thing and i mean of such an enormous i mean uh enormous amount even if it wasn't up to that it's it, it behold on you that you report it to the bank. We had, you know, a guy do that, I think somewhere in a do state, a mechanic received, you know, such an amount and called the attention of the customer, you know, and said, you have transferred so, so amount. Oh, really? He got, he was being, well, if I was giving 50,000 naira and giving a public, you know, accolade, you know, after that. So I believe that, you know, but then the guy went on to show that he's a, Nice guy. Maybe he just felt that um, it was just a time when nature has smiled on him. And considering that it was during fasting and all of that, I just felt that. But even at that, uh, I mean, let's not let's not let's not push under the carpet the real matters. I think that he should have reported the case. However, I want you to react to this from different. We have gotten so many reactions, but uh, interestingly, I've had so many reactions. Majority of the reactions have it's positive that this guy should have reported. The case. I mean, you got 280 million now, it's not small money. Some of this money somewhere, and somebody is suffering for, for it. And on the other hand, too, whoever that bank official that did that particular transaction should also, you know, be punished for doing this. Well, this is still serious mass on no TV. Please drop your comment, make them simple and simple. Let us know what your opinions are. Well, grab up US. Well, the guy just went on to become a nice guy. Started buying houses, buying cars, and all of that. Maybe some people might have just thought that, okay, maybe he's a Yahoo boy and all of that. Well, please drop your comment, make them simple and simple. Let us know what your opinions are. Thank you very much for watching. Please share your, our videos with others. God bless you. Bye bye.